what is up guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to edit an intro so um the type of intro i am going to show you guys how to edit today is the one that was created in adobe after effects and cinema 4d so have those two programs installed and also um most of the intros you download um they come in a zip file so i recommend downloading and installing winrar and once you have that downloaded and installed um just take your zip file right click and then click extract here and then it's going to give you a folder like this and double click on it and this specific intro that i am doing has two versions to it so um here's a preview of the first one okay that was the first one and this is the second one If you guys want to follow along with this intro, I'll put a link down in the description below where you guys could download this. Okay, so the first thing um, to begin editing this intro is to open the Cinema 4D part file. Double click on that. This is going to open Cinema 4D and here as you guys could see, there's going to be a name. and. In order to change that name, under the null object over here, name, um, select on the first text and change the name to whatever you want to change it. For this sake of tutorial, I am going to change it to just write tutorial. And I'm going to copy that. And then just click on the second text. And then under the name, change that. To the same name you put under the first text so once you have that you're pretty much done and here if we preview this um, it may seem a little bit too small and if you think it is too small go under the first text and then all the way down to height over here um, let's zoom this in by 50 more centimeters and then also do the same to the second text and if you don't do that it's going to look funky so as you guys can see right now it looks weird and not good so change the second one to the same amount and there you go it's gonna look a little a bit better and it's zoomed in and it's not too big not too small so we're pretty much done with editing the name and now what we want to do is tell the Cinema 4D where to save this text. Go and click on the render settings, click on that, and then it's going to bring up this window. And go to the save tab, and then under this file over here, click on these three dots button. And this is going to take you to a file explorer. and since we have our intro on desktop and this is the folder we're doing version 2 this intro provided me with a folder where to render it or you could also just do a folder where you want to save it so okay then click save and this is pretty much it just exit out of that and now you could actually start rendering this whole text animation and in order to start that just click on render over here and click ok if it says that for this intro um the creator did not include the texture so the text may look a little bit different but it still comes out pretty good just click ok and it is going to start rendering okay so once it is done rendering um i actually accidentally closed it so you could actually close this out too and um, let's go back to the folder where you saved the render. 
in version 2 and here as you guys remember I saved it over here in this folder and I have all of this text over here rendered for me it's a sequence PNG sequence so the second part for this tutorial is to open the after effects part so double click on that okay so once you first open this um, it may say that you are missing a whole bunch of plugins so um, download and install those plugins and then reopen the file and if it says after effects warnings like three files are missing uh, just click ok and here we have this um, it just looks a little weird right now so the first thing you need to do is replace the PNG sequence with your own text so over here as you guys can see it's a template over here PNG sequence right click on that and then replace footage file and then go to the folder where you saved the render from cinema 4d then click on the first um, image and then make sure PNG sequence is enabled and then click import okay so once you've imported the PNG sequence um, it may show the text over here and that's starting to look like something so to actually um, make it look better uh, we need to change two more files so um, over here um, the particles template right click on that replace footage file pretty much do the same thing and then go back to the um, folder where your intro is and select particles and then click import once you've imported it as you guys can see it looks way more better and the last thing for this intro we need to do is import the um, song so right click on that and then replace footage file and then click on song import and this is pretty much it and the final and last part is to render this all out and what you want to do is go to file export add to render queue and then for the output click on that and then save it to your desktop I'm gonna call this intro and then just click save and then just click render and that is going to start rendering the video and I'll be back once it is done okay so once it is done rendering um, you're gonna have a file like this it's in AVI format and um, since it's AVI um, it's gonna be a pretty large file so here it is and um, let's let's do a little preview of this And there we go guys, we created this little simple intro, um, it's very simple, do not stress out. And um, if you have any questions or any issues you ran to, um, be sure to comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.